Hello, I'm EpiX Toy Cat, and welcome back to some of the top 10 videos. Today, I want to go through the top 10 items that Minecraft should really give a use to. This is something where I've had thoughts over time, and I'm sure a lot of you have had similar thoughts over a really long amount of time of just things in Minecraft which exist but don't really exist because although they're craftable, they're obtainable in some way, both in survival and in creative, there's no true reason you'd ever really want to use them. And I figured because there are so many items like this, and because we're on this uh, brand new version of Minecraft where we're speaking directly to developers when we, uh, you know, have ideas and whatnot, I think it'd be kind of fun to go through all of the, uh, you know, different items in Minecraft which don't really exist and speak to the developers directly and say maybe these items should be given a use. So hopefully you do all enjoy the top 10 most useless items. Like this video, do like it because it helps out the channel and let's say you do want to see more of this sort of stuff. But let's get straight into number 10 on this list which is the reason that I think it's uh, you know so important because basically number 10 is the snowball. Back in 1.2.2 they actually improved the snowball and they made it so that you know when you fire the snowball and it hits something it now deals not back not only to you know mobs which it did before. Again it was basically useless in that role but they made it more useful by allowing it to knock back players and now we have a use for like, it's kind of like an arrow, but it, you know, it works on bent players and only kind of nudges them. It's really cool that they took something which was really popular on servers. I know people thought it was a bug before, but it was really popular on servers and they took it into the main game itself. And this is a great example of improving something. I feel like it probably should go further and that's why, you know, it's number 10 on the list. Like, you know what, the snowball now it deals knockback, but maybe give it another use. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you threw like enough snowballs at a place? It would cover it in snow, you know, the layer of snow, something like that. That'd be pretty cool because at ple uh, pleasant, at uh, present, sorry, it just, you, you kind of throw it and then it, kind of ends up over there and you're like, well, I mean, that's useful enough, I guess. But yeah, basically, I, I feel like it could be given much more for use if it made snow somewhere or if it did something else beyond that. Maybe if they give it more knockback properties, but I really like it as an example and it's the best reason as to why, yeah, all of these items could get something. Like how the snowball went from being basically one of the most worthless items in the game to actually being pretty darn useful, even in multiplayer situations. So uh, the ninth uh, item on this list is actually going to be uh, the, uh, you know, because number, number, number 10 is the uh, snowball. Number nine is going to be the gold block because the gold block in Minecraft matches gold in real life really quite well. Uh, quite well. Gold, uh, if you don't know in real life, it's really unreactive against normal atmospheric uh, conditions. It's really, uh, you know, rare. It has rarity down. And it's also, uh, you know, a really decent material for conducting electricity. It's used on the end of cables, if you can afford it, like just a little bit of plating of gold. And that is uh, an interesting thing because it means that in Minecraft, gold gets the rarity down just right. And you could argue it gets the reactivity thing just right, but it doesn't get the conductivity thing right. So for instance, if we had electricity going through here, or a redstone as it is in Minecraft, I feel like it'd be really fun if at present what just happens is nothing because redstone goes through here, it gets stuck and it doesn't go through the other side. What if we made it so redstone and uh, you know actually transferred through gold blocks and they transferred through it no matter how they were connected to each other. So you know one, you could probably use this to make quasi connectivity come back and make everyone happy in that way. Uh, but two, uh, more, more interestingly and more fun than that would be the fact that even though it does stuff which is only possible right now, again if you exclude any of the old redstone stuff, if you just include it, it kind of does stuff that are done right now but it does it in a way which is way more interesting and way easier to pick up because again right now if you wanted to you could make this go through there to there I mean like there's trickiness to doing it but you know you can make that happen fairly easily if you wanted to make it go up uh, up some blocks and go up to there again you can place redstone torches on top of each other you can transfer redstone signal vertically and you can transfer it uh, you know horizontally like this but being able to do both of them so simply and just like this and then it would actually give you another use for gold would make uh, gold even rarer so it'd get that done better it would give it its final use the uh, electricity thing and I just feel like it will make uh, the game a lot easier for people to pick up redstone should be like okay you get redstone you get gold blocks you can transfer redstone for redstone or you can transfer it for gold blocks and then you can go up and you can go down and you can go like all over the place and again that might sound kind of silly to people who like redstone because it doesn't add new redstone that's why it's hard to get excited about this but it's easy to get excited when you think that yeah well i mean it'd make redstone look better and it'd make uh, redstone easier to pick up which is a good thing i feel like for anyone who uses redstone because redstone is something which is you know currently for a lot of people just this impossible thing they don't bother with and this could be an easy part of the solution so that is why i think gold blocks should be improved and made a part of the redstone ecosystem but the eighth thing in minecraft which is kind of useless right now and kind of needs to be improved is actually going to be uh fire charges so fire charges you get uh because you craft uh you know it's a bunch of never ingredients so it's like an alternative to the uh you know flint and steel that you can make in the nether if you need to get home and i assume that's why it exists in the game but beyond that it kind of just exists as like you can use it in dispensers and you can use it you know i, I guess it's nice because you get 64 charges to a stack and you can replenish that uh, but you know truthfully like the uh, fire charge is just not used by most people. What if we gave it some really unique functionality? What if we made, you know, the fact that it lights fires just like Flint still does, what if we made that kind of a secondary thing to its main purpose? So we could make its main purpose a whole bunch of different things. On servers, they make it so, uh, you know, like if I if I was to fire it there, it would fire, you know, like a giant gas fireball and explode something. That's kind of fun. And the gas fireball uses the same texture, uh, you know, so it would make that thing uh, that you're seeing anyway happen. Uh, so yeah, it could do that, which would be kind of fun. And also you could use it if you, just, you know, if you uh, did think making explosions is way too OP, which admits 
admittedly, making explosions in Minecraft out of range would be OP and it'd make griefing worse. Why not just make it so it lights a fire at a distance? So here's my here's my amazing uh, representation. If we wanted to light a fire over here, for instance, and we're all the way over here, what if we could just like press L tree there and then, oh, and then there's the fire all of a sudden. Would it be cool if you could like light fires at a range? You can make the range really short so you don't abuse it. Like even a range like this would be kind of fair, like from here to there. Uh, that way you can't like burn down people's houses like from across the world, but still it'd be really fun. Oh, and then it goes out, uh, out like that. But yeah, it'd be really fun to be able to light stuff like at distance and uh, that'd make never portals more fun. It'd make uh, the whole item more interesting. And I feel like it would stop being a, you know, flint and steel clone and start being its own unique item. So let's move on to the seventh item, which is actually the golden sword. So again, this is gold again. I feel like all of gold in Minecraft has this whole problem which is technically accurate, where it can make tools, and those tools sound like they'd be good, but they're really worse in a lot of ways than even wooden tools, even though they're better in some other ways. And the gold sword gets this the worst because it's literally the same as a wooden sword. If you've never uh, you actually looked up the damage, all it does is just four attack damage, as you can see right here, and that means that it's a wooden sword, except it's a wooden sword that breaks twice as fast. This means even on servers where they give you gold swords because they make you think that they're impressive, uh, even on servers where you get one of these things, you're like, oh, I know, <laughs> you know, I, I have the ability to do about 33 attacks, which Honestly, isn't enough to, you know, for a whole game. So, you know, it's a pretty weak weapon like that. And let me just show you, if you haven't ever seen this, look how much I, you know, of my sword I used just to kill one sheep in two hits. And again, when you actually like, you know, you accidentally spam hit, you can really drain the, uh, you can really drain the gold sword a lot faster than even that. So that's why I feel like the gold sword in particular, again, I feel like every gold item should get like a, a little bit of a buff in some way, uh, but the gold sword in particular needs to have something. I feel like there's a few fun ways you could do this. One, you could give it like exclusive enchantments. They did that before. They made it the only weapon with sharpness five, which again, it didn't need and it wouldn't be valuable but it was fun to have like wow sharpness five gold swords uh, and they could do it again they could make it something like you know what gold swords have a one in ten chance of dealing 50 percent extra damage because it's gold and like it shines and it does something weird like that again i don't actually understand that i don't actually know the exact way you make gold swords better but i feel like some way you give the gold sword an edge over both the uh, wooden sword and over the stone sword would make this weapon way better what if this weapon instead of dealing an extra 50 percent damage for criticals deals an extra you know 100 percent so it's like diamond sword level for criticals, that would be really cool. There's there's a whole bunch of things I'd like to see done for this because again, uh, bear in mind this is a PvP game where I just fought like three people so far, and now my gold sword's pretty much dead. It's just a near useless item that's fun to exist and it's an interesting like case study. But at this point, now that everyone knows that gold in Minecraft is bad, maybe we could make it good again. But maybe that'd be running the point of it. Again, that's just my idea on number seven over there. So number six is actually going to be an enchantment, the fire protection enchantment, in fact, because fire protection is something you can get on every set of uh, you know armor, and if you do put it on all your sets of armor, I believe you get most re mostly re resistance from fire. However, there's two big downsides to this. So bear in mind, because I only have it on one chest plate, it's like mostly re uh, resistance, I think. But however, there's an issue of this, and that is the, uh, the issue for that is the fact that if you do happen to walk into a fire, so as you can see, like I'm I'm actually fine from this. It looks like on this version, the uh, the bedrock version, you can see how it's actually 100% resistance on just the chest plate, which is pretty wonderful. I, was, I thought it'd be like 99% resistance or like 90%, but as you can see, 100% fire resistance, which is wonderful. It's not quite for lava, but still, it's, uh, you know, you get resistance from fire, which is really useful, because it means that, uh, you know, flame enchantments, fire aspect, is less useful against you. However, there is one critical issue, which is that it deals damage to your armor. So, this is a really, really bad thing, because it means that what you're doing is, instead of having a fire protection potion, which, by the way, doesn't take one of your armor slots, and a really rare enchantment, uh, so you, if you get a fire resistance potion, it gives you resistance from damage, and it gives you resistance from lava, really, really, really easily. However, if we just do the same, but we use this, as you can see, we're dealing damage to our armor, and we're also wasting one of our things. So I think I feel like to make this balance, fire protection should give you some extra, one, it should be like fire resistance, where when you stand in the fire, you're not taking damage every, you know, half a second like this, or every second. As you can see, like, I'm constantly taking damage. This should just be like when you stand in a fire, if you have fire protection, it shouldn't deal any damage whatsoever, just to make it so your armor doesn't burn instantly. Because bear in mind, this is a diamond chest plate. I got down to that much already, because the diamond chest plate is taking that damage every time, and that just seems like it's a bit too much. So, yeah, my official solution would be something like, yeah, go ahead and make it so it's like a fire protection enchantment, that it doesn't, uh, you know, hurt you when you do that and also maybe that you got some benefit from it maybe if you have fire protection you deal a little bit more fire damage or maybe that's like too much or I, I feel like any solution to make it you know the first solution is the biggest bit make it so you can wear it without having to damage it uh, and then the second solution could be anything from like get more fire damage to like you know why not just make it look better why not have it have a different shine or you know something like that so that people would be encouraged to get fire protection or even indeed blast protection and arrow protection projectile protection that is uh, those things all need to have uses as well so something funny uh, it's been so long since 
since I did a top 10 and I was so passionate about each of the items I was going through here like this needs to be like this and it could be like this uh, I actually missed number five on the list as I was scrolling through so we're gonna inject it right here and just pretend like nothing's happening so here I am nothing's changed and uh, as you can see here is uh, number five on the list which is chain armor so chain armor is one of these interesting uh, you know things in Minecraft because I feel like uh, again like you can wear it right now and you can get it in incredibly rare ways pretty much only like you can kill a zombie if it happens to wear the armor you can trade with a villager uh, and that's pretty much it you can get it in creative as well but those are the only ways to get chain armor and it's really rare and I feel like there should be some reward for it because right now it's just mediocre armor if you look at my armor rating it's nowhere near as high as it would be for iron let alone diamond so why would anyone ever wear chain armor besides to look cool well what if we made it so uh, chain armor or we could just make it chain boots if you want to make it more fair chain armor gives you a tiny you know like either a subtle boost or like you could say, say in the game a uh, boost to your speed where we make that boost like you know like 10% or 5% or even 1% just like some subtle boost to make chain armor sometimes worth considering over diamonds like well I mean diamonds really good for protection and chain armor could be better for running because right now the you know there's a subjectively best armor you put diamond armor on you put protection armor on and then that's the objectively best armor set in the game what if we made it so chain armor gave you that subtle 5% boost I'd love that personally and it would make chain go from being like a, a visual only item which admittedly I do quite like it in that way to being an item which people are like seriously considering for a lot of really good reasons so yeah there you go there's number five which totally I you know happened in order and uh, number four is just gonna be me continuing for what I'm saying right now so <laughs> yeah let's go so speaking of useless enchantments we have the mother load um uh, I believe it's just in this chest over here. We have the mother load when it comes to uh, useless swords. So uh, this is the most useless enchantment in the game, and this is like not far off. So you might think Ben of Arthropods 4 is pretty darn good because it sounds awesome. Arthropods, what? wait, what's an Arthropod again? So Arthropods include, uh, it's it's a family of like three or four mobs at this point. It's the Endermite, it's the Silverfish, it's the Spider, and it's the Cave Spider. And you get an extra, you know, like it's the equivalent of Smite, but only for those mobs. But bear in mind, when you're fighting any of those mobs, you don't need an extra amount of damage. Like Sharpness, which is only hard Half as effectively, uh, half as effective, admittedly, uh, does a whole, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, bunch of damage and kind of makes them a one hit anyway. So the idea of, uh, you know, having Bane Fire Pods 4 is really just ridiculous. Like, the reason you'd want Bane Fire Pods 4 is in case you're fighting lots of spiders and you're willing to enchant your sword for it. Like, uh, right now, no one uses Bane Fire Pods seriously, like, intentionally, and no one especially would ever use Bane Fire Pods 1. This is an extra 2.5, uh, you know, damage against uh, spiders and stuff. So it means a spider, which dies in, you know, two hits normally to a regular sword it dies in two hits to Bane of Arthropods 1. It, it basically doesn't affect anything when you have Bane of Arthropods 1 in your sword and it just means that there's so many useless enchantments in the game. Bane of Arthropods is definitely one of them and it just makes me question why not give this a use? Like it's you know again I, it, my, my ideal case here by the way because I'm going to suggest something each time. Um, so right now it's useless because Arthropods only includes four mobs. Why not include Arthropods with some other stuff? Why not include it to mean uh, you know something else? Change the wording? Change anything like that? Because having an enchantment which is extra strong against insects and insectoid things it's kind of a fun thing but like realistically do we need it probably not so yeah that's uh, why Ben Farf pods should definitely definitely be buffed uh, the third number on this list so again really close to that number you know one spot most useless item is actually gonna go to mushroom stew so mushroom stew has like really specific use cases and that you get it for free but it's useless in terms of like if you have any other fruit uh, any other food uh, then the mushroom stew is so much worse uh, than that food because although it restores a little bit of hunger it doesn't restore anywhere near as much as some of other foods it doesn't give you much saturations of foods and it's so much trickier to make you need red mushroom brown mushroom and you need a bowl and those are just like not common ingredients so yeah the fact that mushrooms do exist is fine because you can use it sometimes you need it to get out of hell but why not make it so it has a real use like all of the other foods in the game and make it so it does something like oh yeah as well as doing what it does right now it restores one heart of like your data your health as well because mushroom stew is just that darn nourishing and it's not op because it takes a full slot on your inventory it doesn't stack like every other food item pretty much uh, besides other stews and stuff like that so that means that you know in, you could have 64 raw pork chops or you could have uh, you know like one mushroom stew why would you well if it restored one heart it'd be a super good pvp food and a lot of servers even do similar stuff to that and it makes me just say give mushroom stew a use I, I feel like it deserves one it's a really easy one to give a use to and it's a really you know interesting item that you see a bunch of only servers that maybe could come to the real game as well and given that that's what their you know their motive was with the snowball maybe it'd be useful for the uh, you know the mushroom stew as well anyway let's move on to the uh, second uh, most useful enchantment and this is one you can't actually get but it's one that should exist in a way almost so you might think like why are we going from enchantments that uh, sorry things that do exist to things that like should exist and it's because it's an enchantment that did exist on the old console version it doesn't on this one because if you try to put silk touch on a sword it doesn't let you i'm so glad it does that and it's one of those like little changes i'm happy about but the thing about this 
that makes it so interesting is the fact that it means that now, if you want to have, um, so we want to take our Diamond Sword Silk Touch, we can't get it and that's fine. But what if, the, you know, the, I feel like there could be a whole bunch of uses where a Diamond Sword with Silk Touch would be useful. And although the first ones could just be like, well, if you want to get like, you know, this picked up and you have Silk Touch, well, you just use a shovel, right? But what if you wanted it on your sword? Well, you know, that's not a very good uh, use case. But what if we made it so that Silk Touch Swords made it so if we kill that, uh, you know, let's say this is Silk Touch and not the most useless in Jarmud. When we kill this horse over here, we should get, you know, this, a horse spawn egg maybe or something like that. And uh, I feel like horse spawn egg is the best example. Um, and that would be you have the opportunity to create a new horse I really love this because it means that if you get to this point in the game Which by bear in mind it requires an anvil requires an enchantment table requires books and requires so much XP If you get to that stage in the late game You should be able to get pig spawn eggs killing a pig You should be able to get you know chicken spawn eggs killing a chicken And uh, I feel like that would be a really wonderful use if not because that seems OP You know you can use them to like farm eggs you, you can do weird stuff with killing mobs with this Why not just make it as simple as just one mob in the game the chicken you kill it normally and you get an egg in instead of whatever you normally get if you kill it with Silk Touch. I'd love to have some use for the Silk Touch Sword, and the fact that it hasn't seen love, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit sad to me. So, yeah, that is the second item, most useless item, which I feel like should be even a use. But what about number one? What is the item which I feel like is just the missing in potential the most in the game? You might think that it's, uh, you know, like, again, Silk Touch Swords, I really love, I really would love to see in the game in some way. But number one actually goes to, uh, you know, uh, you know, let, why don't we just go farming, uh, farming potatoes, entirely unrelated to number one, actually, and uh, then I can talk about something else. You know, again, it's entirely unrelated uh, because I feel like the most useless item, you saw me pick one up just there, is actually the poisonous potato. So, the poisonous potato in Minecraft is gotten very rarely when you're farming potatoes. Again, it's so rare that, like, you really... Uh, again, like, what are the odds of you ever running into that? Like, probably, it's it's not going to happen. So, yeah, the poison potato is something that you can, you know, uh, you get in Minecraft, and you're like, oh yeah, this exists, and what can we do with it? So, if you if you if you have a poison potato, then what you can do with it? So, I believe we got another one in there, if I'm not mistaken. But with the poison potato, you can actually eat the poison potato and get poison. What else can you do with it? Can you trick people? Uh, no, actually, it's quite distinct from the potato, and it says poison potato. Well, I mean, but like, surely it's useful in like crafting recipes or brewing. No, the poison potato, it exists and uh, then, you know, it doesn't do anything after that. It just, you can poison yourself with it or you can try and poison someone else if you trick them into eating a potato that looks like this. So, uh, yeah, it, that's that's really its main uses. In theory, uh, also, by the way, you might think, oh yeah, but surely you can turn it into regular potatoes with some, like, purification process, right? Um, no, that doesn't work either. There's no way to purify poison potatoes. Once they're poisoned, they're always poisoned. So they're basically useless. They're technically useful every now and then. If you have low hunger but high health, and you're willing to sacrifice health for hunger, which isn't a usual trade you make, but if you if you were willing to do that and you wanted to do that because you wanted to be able to sprint or something like that, um, then the poisonous potato could come through. But basically, poisonous potato is useless right now, and I'd love to see it have a use in some way. The way I would suggest, because we're here at the end of the 60-minute videos where I'm talking about ways Minecraft should get uses. Is is, um, I feel like a, a poisonous potato could get an amazing use out of uh, being used in a, a, a brewing stand. Like, like, you know, if you can make a potion out there, you can make a potion of like, oh yeah, this is the potion of, you know, poison resistance. Or you can make a whole bunch of really great potion ideas from uh, the poisonous potato. And I feel like, given that there hasn't been a new potion in a while, why not make it so you can brew something and get the poison potato? So yeah, that is my official idea for how we should, uh, you know, like, that's my official idea for what we should do with poison potatoes. Make them a brewing recipe, like the puffer fish before it, like so many other items. If you just create something for them, then suddenly it's like the poison potato, it's useful. We, you wanna have a potato farm, you wanna farm potatoes just to get these things, and then suddenly it goes from least useful, uh, use, least, least useful, yeah, to most uh, useful, or like one of the most useful items in the game, that people just want so badly, because every time an update comes out with new things, people wanna explore that stuff, and if it's stuff they might already have, that makes it even more exciting for a lot of people. So with that said, I hope you did enjoy this video. Like it if you did like it, because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like this whole video. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. This is one of the longest videos I've made in quite some time. But again, this is something I'm so passionate about. So let me know if you want to see more videos of this length, or if you think the top tens, top fives should be like, you know, like five, ten minutes like they normally are. But yeah, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed it, because I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.